Uh, so uh, here uh, we should continue uh, with uh, simulating. Uh, so we have in the previous video created the employer and the loop. Now uh, we have uh, to uh, import the employer on the uh, ANSYS uh, using Turbogrid tool and we will create the uh, mesh for uh, this uh, employer. Uh, and uh, we will see how to uh, import also uh, the load and how to uh, set this mesh. So uh, we have uh, created the impeller as we showed before. So now uh, we have to create the uh, CDF setup. Okay. So for uh, the impeller, you will go to uh, CDF setup extension. Um, and if you set it, uh, you will have a warning message. So uh, to solve this, uh, we have uh, to uh, uh, go and uh, delete uh, the reload uh, and going back to CD of setup extension and extension at RBC constant. We have no uh, message sent, so uh, it's okay there. Uh, okay, for the model setting, uh, we have talked about this before. We set to program default. Uh, for the uh, model finishing, uh, we uh, it's most common uh, to set it at no model finishing, so uh, it won't affect uh, the files for the turbulent. Okay, so uh, this is our uh, impeller, and you can see that. Uh, uh, the file is prepared for the CDF setup as uh, the uh, uh, the uh, one plate only of the six plate is taken so uh, we shall have uh, the uh, solving on one plate and it is uh, periodic so uh, if we uh, solve it, it on one plate you can solve it on six plates so it's uh, about a matter of uh, uh, saving time and uh, computational uh, requirements so you solve on one plate mode okay uh, so uh, for the project we go to export uh, and uh, we choose here uh, turbo grid okay so uh, make sure that the check button is uh, checked uh, here you you can go for uh, the uh, selection export um, okay, uh, if we uh, choose that, uh, you can paste uh, uh, the file name. Uh, here you can set the uh, parameters, uh, which is uh, millimeters. Okay, uh, so uh, yes, we can export data. Uh, and I have uh, already uh, uh, exported the data for the same name, so it's okay to override them okay but if you uh, make it new uh, file name it won't uh, set this much okay so we uh, set here to close uh, so we open answers and uh, to create the uh, mesh on the impeller uh, we shall use a uh, turbo grid edit So uh, here uh, we set uh, load curves with uh, number of plate is uh, 6 uh, principal uh, axis is Z which is the axis of rotation of our plate as you can see here it's based on the, the direction uh, for the units we change it to a millimeter we choose the uh, hop curves and the shroud so uh, choosing the hub curves and you can see it automatically uh, detected the shroud curve and choose it okay for the uh, profile okay so you are fine like this choose apply okay 
using OK for uh, the machine data. Uh, as we have previously said, it's uh, six plates. Here is the machine is uh, in millimeter, and machine type is set to pump. This is very important. Apply. So as you see, uh, this is uh, just one plate. But if you uh, want to show these two plates and this is the uh, overall uh, pillar. If you want to check uh, your uh, dimensions, uh, this is uh, about four four millimeter. Yeah, the hub is about uh, four millimeter, and the outside uh, diameter is about. Uh, 26 millimeter. Okay, uh, so we are here done. Uh, and uh, so to create the uh, mesh on the uh, pillar, we choose here suspended. We unsuspend object. Okay, uh, so uh, for creating the mesh, we have to create mesh. It's now creating uh, the uh, mesh for the impeller. Just gonna take some water. So okay, we have our mesh uh, currently uh, loaded. So uh, if you want to see your mesh, okay. Uh, so uh, you uh, high geometry, and uh, here is your mesh. It's about layers. So uh, uh, if uh, you wanna, sorry, yeah, this is your mesh. As we can see, that uh, turbo grid is uh, creating um, a mesh, a very, uh, very good mesh, with a structural mesh at the inlet, and structural mesh also at the outlet. Okay, so uh, here uh, there is this is uh, a very good tool in uh, meshing on uh, in pillar. Uh, for the uh, mesh, you can set the uh, size factor. You can uh, 
decrease it or increase it if you want but um, we have set it to a program set value which is one uh, you can uh, change uh, all of these but I don't recommend that you have a quite good mesh at the moment okay so uh, gonna click save yes saving the project okay okay now uh, we have our impeller uh, with the uh, mesh it's already finished okay so uh, in the other part uh, we will shall uh, we shall explain uh, how to uh, insert the volume